Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we're doing some basic training. Because we gotta do it. Never done this before. Never done this before, ever. The training floor will teach you some survival basics, but without the fear of death. Complete the training floor and you will receive a cosmetic item and enough XP to bring your selected perk up to level 1. Before you begin the match, select the perks tab at the top of the screen and select the perk. Perks are classes with different passive perk bonuses. Configurable skills and weapon loadouts. Yo, that's pretty sick, dude. Let's uh, let's experience this for for realsies here, okay? So we're gonna go over here to uh, commando. We can't prestige from here, okay? You know, that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna experience this for for realsies, okay? We're gonna prestige the commando, or do we want to prestige the sharpshooter or the SWAT or the survivalist? I don't know, dude. We're gonna go ahead and prestige the uh, the commando, and uh, we're gonna put on weapon skins, rare or er, perk commando. Obviously, use prestige commando. Where's my prestige skin? I don't even see a knife skin. Any um, rarity, exceedingly rare. I'm not seeing. A commando knife. Don't know where it is. Probably don't even have it yet. That's okay. Okay, basic training. I'm hoping this takes about 20 minutes. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know what we're gonna do afterwards. But ah, yes, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be level zero commando. Let's do it, dude. Yeah, it's short, normal. Oh God, put my cursor back on. Oh wait, I missed it. Each perk starts with a unique primary weapon, a backup 9mm pistol, specialist knife, and grenades. Press none to cycle through your weapons. You can also quick select weapon categories by pressing the following. None to equip your primary we ranged weapon. Two to equip your pistol. Three to equip your... Yeah, so... Thing is, I'm... Uh, I'm pretty good at this. So... There's, there's an achievement for doing this, though, so we're going to just run on through it and get it done with. It's normal mode, so even though we're level 1 or level 0, I don't think we're going to have any issue <laughs> at all. I could probably... Oh, jeez. I could probably do, like, mm, suicidal. If I were to try hard with the, with the level 0 commando... You don't lose speed. You don't lose speed is the thing. You do not lose speed as the commando. Whereas with the gunslinger, that's what you lose. Z time slow mo kicks in when cool things happen, like headshots or horde of enemies dying in an explosion. You can use the time to catch a small breather and daisy chain some kills together. You do, however, lose your ability to extend Z time. Well, not your ability to, but like to do it as pretty much endlessly. You do. We have like a uh, hell on earth <laughs> um, training instead. Cause like I'm gonna be honest with you, are people really having trouble on normal mode? In between waves, you can buy and sell weapons, armor, and, and stuff. Now it seems pretty cool though to have like a tutorial mode. It's uh, it's nice. I'll, I'll say it's a, it's, a, it's a nice thing to have if you if you want to. We'll see how it uh, if it recommends weapon choices to me or not. Because if it does, then I'm gonna be. I'm a, I'm a, we got two thousand six hundred and seventy-two gold. You what, mate? You can refill your armor. Yeah. To sell a weapon, press the sell button. To buy a weapon, press the buy a weapon. Okay, they don't recommend anything to me. You know what we're gonna take. Obviously, if they gave me the money for a minigun, like you know dang well. I'm taking a minigun. It's normal mode. I'm taking a minigun. You can weld doors, dude. Did you know you can weld doors? <laughs> I didn't know that. All right, bring it, boys. Bring it. Bring it, boys. That's right. I don't want to hear no complaints from anybody here, okay? We don't have the right perks for the minigun because we don't have any perks. We're level zero. But that's okay. 
<laughs> okay. I wonder if they're gonna give us any flesh pounds or scrakes or anything like that. Like any kind of big zeds, husks, edars. Think they think they do that to us? If like in my opinion they should. Um and then like give a uh, a note on uh like tip like typical strategy and um in uh like group matches. We're level one Merveilleux. You have completed the training scenario. Now make yourself useful. We're done? That's it? Really? You don't get to fight a boss? There's no boss? I mean... Okay, I guess? Um... I expected it to take longer. <laughs> Hold up. I gotta sniff... Now, do we have to do anything on evacuation point? I don't see anything evacuation point. Evacuation point. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we've done that. <laughs> I don't think it says it's supposed to say or hard or higher. But, hey, you know? Do we have evacuation point? Anything to do an evacuation point at all? I don't think so. I think we've done all the... Aha! Hell on earth. Hell on earth on evacuation point. Okay. We're not doing that as a level one commando. <laughs> That's not happening. Uh, we will just hop into hell on earth evacuation point. Hopefully we can win. Look, we got to do uh, complete any map as, you know, perk or whatever on difficulty. So we're going to have to do, you know, normal mode kill runs as like, you know, s uh, sharpshooter or something. Yeah, these guys are like so much faster after having gone through that uh, normal stuff. There's a, there's a big difference in difficulty between normal and hell on earth, for sure. Not that I, uh, particularly see any, uh, difference in the, uh, the difficulty, but, um, you know, there is definitely a, a, a marked improvement in the, uh, nah, I definitely do see a difference in the difficulty. I mean, hell on earth is obviously, like, significantly harder, you know? It's obviously, like, to an enormous degree harder. So that was fun, the little training map thing that we did. I have to level up commander to 25 again. Get that to prestige. I wish there was an achievement for getting everything prestiged all the way to, to maximum prestige. That'd be fun, right? There is not, though. So we only, we only have to get him to 25. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm probably going to perk level it. For the most part. And I just am. And uh, I've, I've said it before. For the first... Just getting to level 25, I think, I think perk leveling is fine. I have nothing against it. Um, I might also not, because that means playing off camera, <laughs> and I just don't really want to do that right now. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I might perk level it, I might not. I don't know. If I do, I'm not going to tell you, oh, I grinded this off camera. No, I'll tell you that I perk leveled it. You know, like, I'm not I'm not ashamed. I think that uh, perks are more fun to play when they're at 25 than they are when they're at 1. Um, again, the prestige is, is, is me, right? I don't, I don't prestige and then perk level. That's... That's next level, like, just why? <laughs> it, it, it's only for prestige, you don't... You know, if you're gonna do it, then, then actually do it. Um, like, the commando, you will see, be leveled to, to 25, like, on camera, because that's how I do. But, like, what, what do we got? We got, uh, like, Berserker to 25, I might do that on uh, perk lovely map, support... Um, demo, Firebug, you know, these might get to 25 on perk leveling maps just because For me, I think it's just easier and I don't really care 
so. Perfect. Pod is open again. Let's get you restocked. I mean, it's fine. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. I don't know for sure. Because demo, I might... Like, I'm having fun with demo when we play on it, you know? That's my tip. I don't have anything against demo. I could play demo for uh, for a few episodes and, and get that to 25, no problem. But we do have to get them all to 25, and I'm like, do I really want to level up firebug to 25? I don't really like firebug. It's fun, but, like, not to the degree that I'd put in the time to get it to level 25. Although, like, I guess if I'm, like, specifically pushing for an achievement, it would be kind of wrong for me to perk level it. I don't know. I don't I don't really care about the first 25, though, is the thing. I want to get it to 25 and then experience the perk and see if I even like it before I want to put in time into it. But if, I, if I'm, like, if I'm wanting the perk or if I'm wanting the achievement for it, then I guess I may as well actually do it. The only ones that I perked leveled to 25 thus far have been uh, have been uh, field medic to 25 initially I perk leveled survivalist to 25 because like I'm, I'm never playing survivalist um, <laughs> sorry and if I am I want it to be level 25 I like I will if I if I prestige survivalist ever I will probably perk level it again because like it's just a garbage perk and I know one of my viewers main survivalist you know you're allowed to main survivalist if you want in my opinion, it's like extremely just not fun to play. Um, I mean, there there have been up some updates to it. I don't know. You know, I'll play it a bit before I. Uh, the 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 more likely scenarios, I just won't even bother prestiging it because I just I don't really like it. SWAT, you know, I'll, I'll prestige SWAT eventually. I'm sure. I mean, I do want to take them all to prestige, like max prestige eventually, anyway. So I don't know. You know, this is all stuff that's far in the future. You know, it's gonna be like years before. Um, I actually have everything at 25 prestige, like max prestige rather. It's been years, considering I only play like, you know, well every single day, like, you know, about 40 minutes to an hour. I don't really play that much. I mean, that's a lot, I guess, you know. A lot of people play like an hour a day and they're like yeah I play uh it's the only game I really play is Killing Floor 2 or you know whatever game it is they play and I'm like I can't really play it that much only an hour a day but you know that's that's not that much in the, in the context of uh of my life anyway but but I recognize that I'm in a unique position I recognize that sure what's your favorite water my favorite water? I like bottled water. Like, any kind of bottled water, I really, really like. Uh, actually, no. Um, there is this one brand, I can't remember what it is, but their water just tastes bad. And I don't like it. But uh, pretty much any type of bottled water. You know, the fancier... You know, I'm the kind of person who goes to the store and buys fancy bottled water. Because it tastes good. I like it. You know, not, uh, not even, like, carbonated stuff. Not even, like, sparkling water, but just plain... You know, water. We harvested this water from a spring. I'm like, dude, that sounds delicious. And then I try it, and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good. Water is a, is a very tasty drink. It's a very tasty drink indeed. It's not even about the taste necessary. It's about the, the texture of it. I like it. I like it a lot. You guys like water? You, dude. My uh, growing up, when I was uh, when I was when I was a little girl, my uh, one of my friends, she was uh, she was talking to her brother, and I was also there, and I was also talking to her brother, and I was talking to her, and she was talking. To her. We were having a conversation, the three of us, and um, I know I'm backing into a corner, but it's okay because he dies. I right, was having a conversation, and we talked about water. Right, so my water bottle was warm because we were playing baseball or something like that. And um, my water bottle was left not necessarily in the sun, but it was like it was a hot day. And it was left in like a, you know, dugout or whatever. And so her brother was like, how can you drink warm water? That's so gross. 
I don't know. It's, like, it's still water. He was, he was like, arguing that, like, warm water is even, like, bad for you. And, uh, me and, me and this girl that I was having a conversation with her brother with, we're both, like, it's still water. Like, it's not bad for you. It, it tastes warm, but, like, it's not bad for you. She was, like, like, I wouldn't drink it. It's, like, I think it's gross. But... Just, just plain warm water is like not uh, not super appealing. But she's like, but it's not bad for you. Like it's it's just water. Um. Okay. It's just water, man. So so she and I are both arguing that it's like not bad for you. It's still water. You you're still getting you know fluid. <laughs> it, it, water doesn't like expire so much, you know. Um, but, uh, he was, he was adamant that, you know, the longer you left water out, the worse it would be for you. Not just flavor-wise, but, like, health-wise. I'm like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> You're being ridiculous. You get a lot of, um, Vosh stuff or whatever it's called from uh, the new seasonal objectives coming out. I mean, that's always kind of par for the course. To get a whole bunch of Vosh, you need to get five of those things where you have to reach, you know, 150,000 each. Ends up being like, what, 750k? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You get you get uh, some decent Vosh from it all. Decent rewards. Not that I'm ever going to open up these vault crates because, like, I am not going to do that. Like, we'll, we'll take a look after this episode how many vault crates I have. We'll... we'll Go ahead and open it up. It's it's just it's a stupid number of alt crates is what it is, and uh, I have no desire to, to open them all. It takes forever to do that, so <laughs> no thank you. When they one day implement a way for me to open up like multiple of them at once, we'll 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 do like a batch opening. You know, even if it, even if it takes like the same amount of time, but you, you it just goes through the animation one after the other, then I'll, I'll just I'll I'll just do it. I'll record it. I won't commentate on it. Because I won't be there doing it. <laughs> I'll be I'll be somewhere else, as uh, as it goes through it for like you know 40 minutes or whatever. Well, by that point maybe like hours. And then you guys can watch all the vault crates open up, and then um, you know it'll be it'll be the most boring video, but it'll probably be one of the best performing videos on my channel because like people just like crates. I don't know why. Actually, I know why, but um. Like, they're specifically designed to be appealing to, to human nature because that's, you know, what they do as they try to uh, to scam you into buying, you know, keys and stuff for, for crates. Um, it's, it's specifically designed with... They, they got, like, psychologists on their team. Like, how do we make this the most addicting thing we possibly can? We want people to give us all of their money. How do, how do we do... How do we, the people have money and it's they're not giving it to us. What the heck, dude? They have they have money and it's not ours. How do how how do we fix that? How do we fix that? Cause they have money, but it's not mine. Do you see the problem? And the psychologist is like, oh well, you see what you do is you make this little crate thing, and then the people are like, oh my god, crates, and they pay you to open them. You think I'm joking, but I'm not. You probably don't even think I'm joking. That's literally like somebody's job. <laughs> is to just figure out how they can make things addictive. To, to trick people into buying stuff. Pathetic, right? Anyway. I give up. Hell on Earth evacuation point's not happening today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more of the future comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.